My job sucks. Every day is the same. Wake up at 7, brush my teeth, get dressed. and join the team's call. Happy Monday, everybody. Yeah, I'm doing great. How about you guys? And then it starts. Great to hear that you're living with discounts. Um, so when we crunch in the numbers, um, you're looking at about 50% off of us. Meeting after meeting. Under Mifflin. Uh, call after call. I know you're not interested at this moment, but I'd like to put And the worst part, rejections. Hey. I know now's not a great time, but do you think it's possible we can reconnect? Hello? And once you've survived Monday, it starts all over again. Happy Tuesday. Yeah, everything's going great. How about you? I am really sorry for the inconvenience. We are trying to outsource the product um, as best as we can. Okay. Jerry? Can you hear me? Jerry? And again. Happy Wednesday. Yeah, it's going great. How about you? I I understand you're not interested. That's all right. That's all right. Thank you so much for your time. Until you've had enough and you want out. But I've been in sales for about two years now, so what else can I do? I've always gravitated towards creating, whether that's my own videos or my own stories. And I've always wanted to do something where I can create and get paid. That's when I stumbled on a TikTok. Okay, how much do you make? 191K. How long have you been doing it? A year now, so how long? I'm a senior software engineer in fintech. Amazing. How long have you been doing it? Uh, I've been in fintech for five years. Five years. And how much do you make? I currently make 158000 And that led me through a rabbit hole of YouTube videos and Reddit posts of people becoming software engineers without degrees. And I was sold. I wanted to do it too. Hey, 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 Gavin, could you give me a second here? Since I was still working my nine to five, I couldn't just go all in. So I found a few options, including free code camp, which is a free way to learn how to code, evening classes at a local college, or a more popular option that everyone's been talking about nowadays, a coding boot camp. After doing some research, I decided I wanted to join a coding boot camp, but it wasn't all smooth sail. First, let's talk about the tuition. Yeah. That's the right number. I knew it was really expensive, but god damn. In the end, I decided it'd be worth it, and it was an investment in myself. So I enrolled in the part-time program, and I would be taking classes three times a week, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Saturday. And so I have six months to become a software engineer and change my life. Wish me luck. I haven't felt this excited to learn since probably never. We kick things off with the basics. First, HTML, which is a text-based language that tells a web page how to display text, images, or whatever you'd like to add. Next, CSS, which is a style-based language that describes how things on your web page should appear. And then JavaScript, which is a scripting language used to make things move and react on your web page. But none of it really clicked until we built our very first project, a Tamagotchi, which were these virtual pets from back in the 90s. And of course, I'm not making any lame gachi It's gotta be Pokemon themed. I call it Pokigachi. At first, I was lost. No idea where to begin. And I might have resorted to ChatGPT. 
but I knew if I was going to learn anything, I had to build it myself. So I started with the basics. I built a class that defined my Tamagotchi's core stats. Name, hunger, sleep, boredom, and age. I added methods to handle things like eating, sleeping, and playing. And of course, those stats would change over time. Then I moved into HTML to lay things out visually. My cute little egg, some buttons to interact with, and a few things to make the Tamagotchi evolve. Once I layered in some CSS and a cool background, Pokigachi was alive. And just like that, my very first app. It's not the prettiest, but it, it works. But there wasn't any time to celebrate because our first big challenge was up next. We were supposed to build an entire game using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So I picked the game I used to dominate as a kid, Battleship. So the first thing I did was build a grid, 100 squares for each player. Then I needed to make the ships. I made a ship class and wrote out logic to place them on the board. You could drag and drop them and even rotate them. But that's where things got a little bit tricky. I had to write more logic to prevent any overlapping, check for valid placements, and make sure ships didn't go flying everywhere. Once that worked, I worked on the enemy board, and that's where the real fun began. Like in the real game, you can click a square, check if it's a hit or miss, track hits, and also sink ships. I also tried to style it with a twist, so instead of battleships, it'd be rocket ships. But turns out making a rocket ship with CSS is harder than it looks. So that part was kind of a bust. But you know what? It works, and sometimes that's good enough. I still built one of my favorite childhood games, and that's crazy to me. And when the game actually knew who won, it hit me. I'm actually doing this. Just when I was starting to get the hang of things, we got thrown into full stack development, the part that makes websites actually do stuff. It's the difference between drawing a vending machine and making one that actually gives you snacks. For my second project, I built Rate My Class, a really simple website where students could search for classes and leave reviews. At first, it was overwhelming. But little by little, it started to make sense. I built out the front end, then set up an express server and connected it to a database. For the first time, I was sending real data. Someone writes a review, hits submit, and it flows through the back end and right onto the site. And the moment I wrote a review and saw it instantly appear on the site, I felt unstoppable. Next, we jumped into React, a tool for building fast, interactive websites with reusable pieces. For our team project, we built a Spotify clone called Audify using the iTunes API. Hey Spencer, how's it going? It was my first time coding with other people. Yeah, I'm just going to be playing with the API today, trying to get it connected on the back end. And yeah, we broke a lot of stuff. God, I think I broke the song player. Right before our presentation, our deployment broke and we couldn't launch our app. I thought we were done for. We had 10 minutes left. I think we might need to ask for an extension. But five minutes before it was time to present, it started working again. It's working. All right, awesome. Let's, let's hop on the call right now. Hey, everyone. I'll be presenting our team project today. Um, we created a Spotify clone, which we call Audify. In big font, we have Simply Music because we're trying to make music simple and easy. We have some recommended songs for you. You can cycle through them and you can add that to your playlist right here. Let's add it to Mozzie's Awesome Playlist. And people loved it. And I felt something I hadn't felt in a long time, pride. But just as things were finally starting to look up, I got a call. Hi Mozzie, happy Friday, how are you doing? I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right, how about you? That's great, I'm doing great. I um, just cool. wanted to talk to you real quick about some things going on. Yeah. Uh, we're making some tough decisions, and unfortunately, that means your role is being impacted. Just like that, I was laid off from my sales job.
but in a weird way, it was also the push I needed. And now, down to the final month. We learned a new language and a new framework, which means new challenges. At this point, I was juggling more than just code. I just lost my job, and I had no safety net left. Just me, this final project, and the belief that I could pull it off. For my final project, I built Bazaar, a web app like Facebook Marketplace, but with car shipping services. You could post an item, buy an item, and have it delivered to your doorstep. It pushed me harder than anything I'd built before, but when I launched it, it all felt worth it. I wasn't just building apps anymore, I was building a new life. Six months ago, I was stuck in a job I hated, burnt out, and unsure of what was next. I lost that job but in losing it, I found something else. I went from knowing nothing about code to building full stack apps, presenting real projects, and solving real problems. I know I haven't landed a job yet, but for the first time in a long time, I don't feel lost. I'm building, I'm learning, and I know the best part of this journey is still ahead. So thank you for watching and stay tuned.